Hi guys, good morning. Um, this is my daily pretty much shipping video. If you're new to my channel, I uh, my name is Nico and I live up in the mountains of Wyoming. So I did most of my shipping for today, which is Monday. Today is Monday, March 6th of 2023 and I did most of my shipping yesterday. I had I want to say I had like 17 orders from Saturday till Sunday night and then now it's really slow this morning for me. I've been sending offers, taking some offers, all of that, but since I shipped pretty late last night, I only have three that are actually paid. I have some more decent orders, but I don't count them till I have the money. So Anyway, for today, um, my plan is, well, not my plan, what I've been doing is catching back up on my workouts. Um, as a lot of you know, if you have been watching, I took um, four days, went to Denver, had a massive bins trip, you know, reaching in the bins, no exercise at all just a few stretches. I was really trying to maximize my time there. So now I'm trying to catch up on workouts, get back in, you know, some kind of physical health, um, eat right again and do some of that. So I did go to my workout at 545 this morning. Then I got back and then I've been doing paperwork for the business too. Um, all I got to say is know your numbers, guys. It's kind of scary sometimes. Um, if you've been watching my channel, I did help my mom last year for almost eight months. Um, in January of last year, I was selling over 10000 a month. And then my mom's husband passed away. Um, long story short, she needed some you know, help relocating. So I went to Texas five or six times. Um, the business, you know, did not do really well. On the other hand, I mean, I was living out there during those weeks with her. All my expenses were paid. I mean, she bought everything. She knew that I was helping a lot. So it just depends on kind of how you look at it. But in cash, I still did not take in enough to make all this craziness worth it. So this year is going to be different. Um, I'm looking at January and February now to see if I'm paying myself enough now um, back. So um, what I think is going to help is just taking what I did this week, taking massive trips, getting more at a time, making sure that the car is as full as I can possibly do it, and then not going again for three to four weeks, and then all that money in between there is not going to inventory in little short bursts, in little short trips, because obviously I just can't keep doing that. Um, my mileage is skewed also because I did shop and work the entire way up to Texas and the entire way back. Like legitimately, I have receipts. I went to Goodwill's. Every time I stopped for a break, I was shopping, sourcing, trying to keep the business going. So my mileage is kind of outrageous. So, you know, the amount that I should have paid myself in mileage, it looks like this massive amount that I wasn't able to pay myself yet. But, you know, it's because I don't go to Texas to source all the time, you know. Um, so I'm just really breaking down every ounce of paperwork I have, filing it, putting it where it goes. My taxes will be done here in a couple days. And um, then my husband is 64, and he is 10 years older than I am. So he is trying to look into his Social Security, you know, when should he take it. He, we're both in very good health, thankfully. But, um, you know, we're just trying to look at all of our finances, our investments, everything, and try to get an idea of um, where we're at, what we should be doing. Um, I just found out, you know, my Social Security, um, which doesn't seem like a lot, um, I did have a lot of quarters where I was a full-time nurse, and then I have a lot of quarters where I've been an entrepreneur trying to show the least amount of income possible. I have a lot of quarters in my Social Security where that's the case. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to what we're going to look at and what we're going to decide, but we have a lot of help, a lot of financial planning type things um helping us and it's all good. It feels good to feel like you're in control and you at least know um where you're where you're trying to head. But for today, guys, let's get these last 3 orders out. Um yesterday 
I want to say the 14 orders that I had when I started the video yesterday was at 302.21 for about the 24 hours. And then I had three more come in um, during the video. I mentioned them and I went ahead and processed them. I want to say it was like 50 bucks more in orders. Um, now we have three more. So that would have been like 17. So we're at 20 since Saturday morning. Um, you know, this is Monday morning. It's, it's okay. It's about 10 a day and that's about all I've been getting listed. Um, so you can't expect really more results than what you're listing, right? Okay. So this is a pair of Madewell jeans. Um, it did sell via promoted, no coupon. Um, these are the road tripper jeans. They are a size 28. They sold for $18.55 plus shipping, so $30.61. I'm going to reinforce this a little bit. Yeah, so the rest of the day, I'm going to get my own listings done today. Then I'm going to send a bunch to the VA. I'm going to use my virtual assistant to kind of help me prep to go on this trip I'm going on next week and just, um, you know, help me get ahead of some of my listing. But today, um, I'm just now sending him the photos. So that'll be for the rest of the week, some of the work he does. I'm going to have to list myself today, which is good. I need to work on my listing speed, keep that up. Um, this is going to Washington, um, so I made or kept about a buck on the shipping. Yeah, it feels good to kind of get a lot of my paperwork caught up. Um, I don't have that much to do. I do treat myself instead of having employees or help listing or some of those things that other people do. I have an accountant. He doesn't charge me a whole lot per month just for keeping up on my stuff. So that really helps me know where most of my numbers are. I do get a profit loss from him every um, month, but then, um, you know, I just like to know even more where we're at, what we're doing. I think the big issue, sorry guys, I'm not prepped for this very well. I switched from doing paperwork to realizing that I better get my mail out here. Um, I think the biggest difference is that like when he gives me my profit loss every month, it's a really nice amount or, or a livable amount, but then I am re-spending out of my personal checkbook to go on the trips again, not the inventory, that comes out of my business account, but I re-spend um, out of that checkbook to go um, shopping, you know, and then I pay myself again mileage the next month, that kind of thing. But so, um, you know, you've got to really pay attention to how much is going out of your personal checkbook when you're on a trip. If you're doing it the way I do, I do mileage and per diem. So, um, it's kind of complicated. It would be better if you just obviously asked your accountant what the best thing is. Um, this is a nice Eileen Fisher. I just listed this yesterday. Hopefully I didn't underprice it. It's not linen. It is a nice lightweight jacket. I want to say it's, uh, it's organic cotton, so really cute. It is a size medium. So hopefully this isn't some kind of amazing piece. I did not specifically look up the RN number. Um, I priced it fairly decently, but I was hurting for orders. I wanted to make sure that I was getting, you know, plenty of orders going. I need to refold that better. Sorry, guys. That looks absolutely terrible. It doesn't have buttons, so it's not really, it's very unstructured, so it's just kind of hard to get it to look nice. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. The customer will not like that. All right. So anyway, so a medium Eileen Fisher kind of a jacket. I would say it's a spring weight jacket, not lined. Um, this sold for $29.99 plus shipping, so $36.74. No promoted listings or coupon at all. So um, to me, that's a really good turnaround overnight, like literally. It's one of the things I listed pretty late last night after we did the shipping video. Ten ounces, and so I've got to reduce what I had in there. And this is going to Somerville, Maryland. 
So I'm going to keep about $1.50 of the shipping too. My, um, I have weekly sales. So this is my um, promotions notebook. So I keep track of this every um, week. And other people do it differently. But these are my sales based on the amount of time I've had inventory. So for the, if I've had inventory for day 1 to day 15 on my clothing, I have like a 12% sale going. Um, just to get it in the algorithm, it does help. Um, eBay likes you running sales, so that's why I do it. Then if I've had the item 16 days to 29 days, I have a 16% off sale. And this is off of what I price it when I list. I do buffer a little bit, especially the first, you know, 1 to 15 days. I still put in what I would like to have, um, you know, with a little bit of a bump up. But I'm also trying to move this clothing so I can get more of this clothing tomorrow. Um, if I have something really rare, I take it out of the sale. Then if I've had something over 30 days to 45 days, I do a 24% off sale. And then now on my oldest stuff, I'm doing 40. That's what I did this week. I'm going to actually bump that up to 50% on this really old stuff. Because if it's in my store at 46 days to 80 days, that means I've actually had it over a year. Because I end and sell similar and try to fix the listings on this oldest stuff. And I really want that old stuff to move. Um, garage sales are starting in about a month. I, I've got a ton of inventory right now. Um, I don't want to be messing with some of this older stock. It's not up to par with like the Eileen Fisher for 30 bucks that I just listed last night. That's more the kind of inventory that I'm really trying to go for. Um, then I have a coupon for 20% off for everybody. So when they're scrolling down, they will see that I have a 20% off coupon in the um, listing or in the feed of things that they're looking through. Then I have a private coupon for about 30% and I send that to past customers. I send that in a newsletter. I send it to buyer groups. So I have my buyer groups that I do once a week. Then I send them whatever eBay allows me to. So on Mondays, I let all of that run out and cancel out because that's the end date on all of my promotions. And then now today, as soon as I get back from the mail, I will restart all of my promotions. And so I really noticed that it makes a huge difference once the sales start again. Um, the bad news is that if your sales are working too well, so like the minute your sale hits, if you get a bunch of orders, the downside of that is that the truth is you're probably overpriced. And I have realized, especially on my older stuff, that I am um, just a little bit overpriced. You know, there are people out there who can offer great deals. They, they live closer to the inventory. They can buy it in bulk. And that's just what the competition is about. So um, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to try to be competitive and just get more stuff. And I'm trying to get higher quality stuff where the price doesn't matter as much. If you have, you know, a store full of Eileen Fisher, that's a certain type of customer who isn't going to necessarily care about, you know, two or three dollars. Um, I mean, not that rich people don't take care of the money, but you know what I'm saying? It's not the same as like a eight dollar item and uh, you have some leeway, they have some leeway, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to restart my promotions after I'm done here. Even before I list, I'm going to do that. Now, this was a very pretty Peter Millar Southern Comfort. Southern Co Comfort, when you see it right there under Peter Millar, is a good thing. Now, I could have waited longer. This is a large, and it is a really cute pattern. Um, it does not have any golf logos. So anyway, I, I've had this for two months. And um, I took an offer of $15 plus shipping, so $23.41. It sold via promoted. They did not use my coupon. See, even though I run all these coupons, a lot of people do not even use them. So that's why I tell every order, like, did they even use the coupon that was sitting right there? And a lot of people don't even bother. This is 9 ounces. It's going to Georgia. 
And so I'm keeping a dollar a dollar forty six on the shipping also to go toward the expenses of shipping and everything. All right, guys, let's go see where I'm at for this month on my sales. Not even this month, just this week. Uh, you know, and remember, it's a scrolling seven days. If I sell another couple hundred dollars today, it'll scroll. And so this is always a little skewed. But because um, I don't, you know, print this out for anybody else or actually say, okay, from this day to this day, this is how much I sold. Maybe once I get caught up on some of my other projects, you know, I might do that. Um, let's go see here where we're at. Hmm, I thought I told that to print. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm really trying to come up with a budget, which sounds like common sense. It's not like I shouldn't have known, but I've been listening to a lot of people, and I know Thrift Nook, um, she had her husband, who's an accountant, on, and, you know, she was talking about she had a budget for sourcing, and to me, you know, I haven't really paid as close attention to that as I should. I've just been saying, well, I'm out of stuff. I should go, you know, get more, and... um there isn't too much that I need to do to save money on the items themselves. I am really bottom of the barrel spending on my inventory. I'm using my time and my labor to dig in the bins. And, you know, I'm not overspending on that. I think maybe on my trips, if I condense it and can limit my trips and get more at once, that may um, help me to be able to pay myself, you know, several hundred dollars more a month. And that's what I'm trying to do is just look at everything and it's you know it's not the new year to most people but I was sick in January and then we've just had this winter to me I feel like I'm just doing those kind of new year things where you're looking into all the stuff you want to do for the year I feel like it's March what 6th and I'm just now getting all of those things done Ugh, so yeah I'm just trying to kind of look at you know life in general all right so um Still pretty low. I'm at $1,753.93 in sales the last seven days. I still have not quite recovered um, from, you know, everything. I am uh, down 8.1% just in the last 31 days with battling this winter. Um, I'm at $8,286.42 for the um, last 31 days. That needs to be a minimum of 10 for the amount of work, you know, that I put in an amount of time and effort. So it's coming, you know, I have a lot of great stuff to list and I'll have very little money going out for the next like 10 to 12 days. So it's, it's coming, but um, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm probably going to do an editing video and maybe a haul video sometime today. Just depends on my workflow. I have a lot of cleanup, more paperwork. I've got to put some stuff away, but um, I do have some things I want to show you. So take care. Um, if you don't mind, it would really help if you could um, like my channel or like this video and put a comment below that always really does help and then if you could also subscribe I'm having a lot of great content coming up that hopefully does not involve talking about the weather so <laughs> we'll see you guys have a good day bye bye